If you're a student at the University of Lincoln, there's no doubt that you've seen the swans. I don't mean that one or that one. For those of you familiar with Lincoln, back in April 2019, cygnets were being born left, right and centre. The couple on the Brayford had five offspring and the couple down near the Pie Wipe had seven. They would frequently come together to merge into one big group. That's why it seemed that the group was a lot larger. However, you may have noticed that recently there aren't that many swans around. When cygnets reach a certain age and their parents start breeding again, they quite commonly disperse. So it wouldn't be surprising if the cygnets from 2019 have now dispersed down to Newark. However, there is some good news. The original breeding pair have now started breeding again. As of today, there are five eggs in the nest and the dad is always on guard. If you do come across the nest or you know where it is, there are some basic rules to follow by. Please don't attempt to touch the swans, the eggs or the nest as this can be quite traumatic to the mother and the father and can lead to them abandoning their offspring. Please don't feed the swans. They may seem like they need some food, but they will forage themselves. By feeding the swans, any leftover food can attract any predators. If you come across the nest, please don't make any loud noises. I wanted to also mention the Lincoln Swan Project that started in 2017 and is led by the university. Over the past four years, the university have tagged and identified 195 swans in and around Lincoln. This allows for them to keep track of where they are and their breeding progress. By tracking them and keeping them identified, you can follow the progress of each swan and where they end up relocating to. There's no doubt that once these signets reach the age of maturity, they will also be tagged for identification and tracking. But yeah, I just wanted to make this short video to let you know that there are some more signets coming. If you do come across the nest, please do not disturb it.